Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing, hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest, where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass, and awaiting its next hero. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her.
Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would follow. Such a tough act to follow. Also, I have sound problems. So, but you hear me and you don't have echo because the echo I had I just turned off. And how are you? <laughs> Was bad gamer sleepy? Oh yeah, it's a great start. You hear me no echo? Awesome. Hello, Sir of Godric Rimeman and everyone. Ghost focus and everyone else. Oh, will Twitch ears go to extra life as well or only proper donations? Only proper donations. Or oh, I guess that if uh, you share, uh, Bad Gamer will make sure it goes to the donations. But it's easier for him if you donate the regular way. Uh, okay. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tante Friosa or Tonti, as you English speaking people say. And uh, I am doing a game photography stream, um, as everyone else have been doing in this extra life 24 hour thing. But I'm really going to focus on game photography because Moss is uh, super, super uh, good for that. And Moss is three hours long and we have three hours. Uh, and I don't want to rush it, so I've been uh, cutting out a part at the and uh, we're heading through the mines. I'm skipping that part. So we can chill a bit. Oh yes. I want to thank you, thank Quill for donating to this cause. Thank you so much Polyarch. Th and thank you everyone else of course. Mm, I think that's it for the start. Let's go. Let's look at the cute thing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say that uh, since we are in VR, I'm gonna uh, take off and put on the helmet a lot and that will make the image shake and it will get annoying, I promise you, after three hours. So uh, focus on something that is fixed on the screen, like the web camera, or if you can't stand that, look at something else, but uh, uh, you might need that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. Do -do 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 <laughs> I'm so I'm so going to sing this entire um, game. So we are in VR now, and uh, like if I move my camera, boop, 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 boop. my camera. That's the headset. As I know some people are joining this only for the game photography thing and only for Moss. Um, might be lurkers, might be in the archives. So I'm going to take, uh, like, begin with the basics of game photography on PlayStation. And the super basics on PlayStation is, especially in MOS, uh, the output of the image will be like, what is it, 960 by 720? Uh, so you need to have uh, the best quality you can get and the way you do that is you go into settings you go into sharing yep and screenshot settings and you set this to PNG then when you transfer your image you do it via a USB stick um, you can also set this share button control type to easy screenshots so you can rapidly fire let's go let's uh, bring out the girl so most photo basics you let you can you can move a bit cool i'll let you loose uh whoop sorry you pause the screen with options and then you freeze this hide the menu with uh, r3 and then we are in this mode and 
make it easier, you can reset the screen by holding options. If you want to get further away from the from the little bar, you recenter with the visor far ahead. And if you want to get, oh, I said closer, didn't I? I meant further away. And in, if you want to get closer, you recenter closer to yourself. So that way you don't have to uh, crawl around on the floor. So, I have done my talking bit. Uh, I, I have another talking bit. She was not exactly Clamber. sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down. That's me. Her. Hello. Uh, Moss is VR only. Will had to hurry. The village gates soon closed. <laughs> I scared her, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wasn't meaning to do that. I'm sorry, Quill. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm controlling this. Um, I was saying something, wasn't I? Oh, never mind. Look at this cutie, cutie, cutie thing. Everything is cute here. Uh, I have the wrong headset on. And I'm talking about this one. Okay, I just have to play without sound, I guess. Game volume is a bit low. Thank you. Let's fix. Mm, taking on the wrong headset, even. So. Boop. <sighs> oh, it's on max. See, this is what I mean with shaky camera thing. Um, maybe, maybe that'll make it better. The attention to detail is amazing. Yeah, that's what makes this perfect for for photographing. I'll, I'll bring it to the next scene. It's hard. <laughs> you actually have to have the helmet on. Uh, when you play, it's really, really hard to control her in a 3D space that is designed for VR. Um, and does your watch where you're going? Oh my god, you're so cute. You are so soft, a little nooty, nooty, nooty. What did you say? I don't know what you said. So, <laughs> I've, I've been playing this game for what 148 hours, so we are hitting the 150 hour uh, anniversary during this stream. So just you can oh uh, you can grab her in almost any situation and whoop. she's just adorable. I was gonna try to play, like, if I can, maybe, yeah, so, I didn't know you could get that close, oh, I can, it's, uh, it's VR, <laughs> I can go anywhere, I mean, it's, it's 360, so, and if I reposition, I can probably go. I mean, that's what makes this uh, so fun. It's like, it's really like moving uh, around um, a real life scene with a, with a camera. <laughs> she's, she's so cute. I mean, I've been playing this for so long and she's still, I'm still getting the cutesies from her. Mm. Where are you? Nope, I can't do that. Uh, okay, I tried, I tried.
I was just gonna ask Chet a lot of questions, then I realized Night, I won't be able to see. Her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But so, I sometimes feel like I have photographed every scene in this game, and yet every time I get in here, I see something new. And I'm doing a new game, so there's a lot of collectibles, and I won't get them all, but if I see them, I can them out. I guess. I've been looking forward, like, entire week, well, to the stream, but also just to play. Closing the doors! Too late. You're gonna need some help to get in there, Will. Silly, silly, silly smile. I have a collectible up there that I won't go and get. way to wake up. This is a photo that I've been trying to take for like ages but I never can get it right. So like walking here, them looking at each other, but it, I never get it. You, you gotta sync up please. Oh. Meh, another time. Oh, hello chat, on behalf of Bad Gamer who is sleeping, hopefully. Thank you for the donation, Bowman. Oh! On the behalf of the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, thank you for the donation, Riman. Riman. Oh! Um. So, this is where she lives. Or rather, this is where she lives. Not exactly, but this is such a scene that I'm, I want to take photos in all the time. But it's a bit dark, so it's hard. Hello, kids. Hi. Just look at this. Look at this girl. She's a quill wannabe. She, no, no backpack, but she's a, what do you call it? She's a fan. Quill isn't even a hero yet. She's still making an impression on the village. Or maybe it's just a cold kid. Quaint little play, yeah, cosplay, please. I like this man too. Also, while I'm here, I always wanted to take some landscape shots, but I rarely do. So maybe there's a way to grab this. Okay, Quill, you are in like every picture I have. Maybe, maybe not this one, if you could go hide somewhere. Like, yeah, there you go. And then we'll hide my hand and we see what we can do. <laughs> yeah, they're not fishing with their paws here.
camera is so shaky. So this is how it's done. Nope, get out of the way, Quill. You're not allowed in here. Maybe. The reader's hand was not out of the way. Retry. Concerned look. I mean, the de detail of this game, it's not made for 2D viewing, it's made for a bit darker VR, man. Hmm. Anyhow. Thank you. Hey, Kappa! Here throwing red! Welcome to my photo stream. My charity stream. Has someone typed extra in chat? I thought the frame were freeze because this guy was standing so still. <laughs> mm -hmm. The thing is, this is so incredibly beautiful in VR. The thi this scene, it's uh, I mean, it look go looks good in 2D, but in VR, it's breathtaking. Okay, that's where we live. Uh, this is how we get there. I don't have game sound on, so I might, might talk over the, the lady sometimes. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't. Uh, fix that maybe in a break. Almost every day, so that's why I'm humming it. Because I don't have any other sound than my own voice right now. Thanks to her new friend, Will had saved the hourglass. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. <laughs> I really should get a bit closer before I try to steer her off screen. I was just gonna show a little, little easter egg here. If she stands and waits here for a while. Okay, yeah, I wonder if uh, the resolution is better on PC too. Um, let's head into a cutscene. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. 
Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Kid! Kid! Wake up! Hey kid, over here! I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey! Starthing, wait! Thank you so much, Kappe, for the donation to the children. Um, <laughs> Hello, fellow internet users. Hello. Reboot. Or Kappe. Okay. Uh, chat was asking if uh, this could be uh, like ported to 2D. And I say that it's not playable in 2D. It's, uh, the, the VR experience is so central to how the puzzles are designed, so I'm pretty sure it's unplayable uh, another way. Any other way, because you have to look around things. Uh, and yeah, maybe you could do it with a rotating camera, but I don't think that's good enough. Okay, that's what I want to do. Get on point! Push the payload! So just look at this poor poor thing. Actually she's not sad, she's just sleeping. Or maybe she is sad. Her uncle left. So if you've seen some of my photos, this is where they come from. Can we get a... Hey, kid! Kid! Wake up! Sleep ahead, Quill. Okay, this is where VR is a bit tricky to get exactly how you're supposed to turn the headset to get uh, around her. And I thought I knew this by now, but apparently I don't. So there we go. She's holding her little glass. Hey, kid, over here! I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. This Bring is that the glass thing. You can really get around too. every single year. Going to need them. <laughs> and I'm scaring her again. Look at those sleepy eyes. Hey, 
Everything is so dark in here. It's really nice and cozy in uh, in VR and in 2D. A bit too dark. I think there's yeah. It's a portrait of her. Mm. Okay. Her expressions are amazing. I mean the. Uh, the animator's name is Richard Lyko. I, I always say Lyko because I'm Swedish. Um, and he's done every animation in the game, more or less. Uh, I think he, he we'll said he had help with something, hey, but he made the rig, rig the doors and. Quill had never met a starving. In campfire stories. They often meddled in the lives of mortals. I hope she stopped talking. I am not. When they appeared, oh, mischief I followed. Some sound. Yeah, he did all the animations. So I'm very impressed with him. I think he he worked on. Ooh. Destiny. I think before he left for this in the studio. But I mean, it's not just Quill. The animations are fantastic. No, not animations. Everything is. Fantastic, the music, the uh, ambient sounds, all of it. Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, who knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her? Quill demanded answers. Starthing, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. I need to be so careful that I don't knock something out. Uh, I have a table full of stuff here. So it's pretty amazing this three hour long game uh, that one guy did all these animations. But as I said, it's very easy to give full credit to, to him just because Quill is moving nicely, but it, everything is coming together very well. This way, kid, urged the starting. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. I was gonna say that it, uh, it it's uh, I tried to show it on stream a lot of times, but um, uh, I, you can't really hear it while I stream. But there's a nice uh, Easter egg here. If you stay and listen to the bird song, you might hear it. Hello. Don't break anything, Tom. Um. 
so much stuff on my head. Oop. Oh, what's happening in chat? Don't believe Star Thing will. Hmm. I don't think it sounds creepy. <laughs> I love that you're showing all the little details like the portrait. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm here to show the Easter eggs. The ambience and music is really good. And here's another Easter egg. Let's. Um, I'm gonna position the camera so we can see it properly. Um, how do I do that? I mean, 150 hours and I still never know how to easily get the angle I want to. I would really not want to put the headset down. This is what, what I do when I photograph. I reposition, I reposition, I reposition until I get where I want to, maybe here. Another thing I do is when I'm filming, I made some films too, is that I use my video collection to prop up the camera. So now Pacific Rim is... Uh, no, Pacific Rim was too much. Uh, Bloodborne, it's enough with, along with Eddie Sir and uh, I think it's Wonder Woman. So here we go. Uh, oh, this is the th the thing I like about Quill. She's so polite to all the animals. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> So this is one of my first, uh, let's say, good shots that I took. Um, I was just standing here, wanted to get a shot of the deer, and by accident realized that she's saying hello to everyone. She's always so happy, but right now she's on an adventure. Well, uh, she's looking for her uncle, so it's not all happy adventure, but still. Even now I can hear Wonder Woman and not get some of the 70s themes stuck in my head. I'm happy to hear that, I guess. I don't know how you feel about it. I'm going to need the thing again. We have a... Don't crash into something, we have a scroll there that I'm not going to get. It's an easy one. Okay, I'm not seeing what I'm doing. That is what you will happen if you play in 2D. Um, really hard to see where you're at. Is the Meyer? The starving assured her. There's a good chance That's your uncle's Meyer. still there. Well, is it so impossible? I always wanted to get something here too, but it's so dark. Um. Like, it's too dark. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Think of the possibilities here if you could actually sequel. But you can't. It's like every time you enter a new area, the transition is accompanied by the sound of the page turning in a book. It is. It's a very nice detail. There's so much uh, of those details and uh, symbolism in, in, in this. <laughs> D 
Did you hear that? The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just always pausing, always on the lookout for things. Just gonna show you where we are. I'm actually going to take a shot here. Just look at her, she needs help! Okay, I can't show it because my... Let's go. Here. Like, help me! <laughs> and I'm not doing anything! <gasps> Actually, this is my chance. I've always wanted to get something with... No, get away if you have something with a uh, reader's hand and quill. Maybe... Oh. Oh. I think it's too close. to get some real photos out of this. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm not helping. I know I should be helping. Yep. Getting them PS4 notifications when I'm hitting screenshots. That's what I turned off the The screenshot thing. I'm this. Um, this is why I like to edit my photos because everything is a bit dark in uh, Moss. Poor thing. And you also get blurry edges on the photos. I'm um, actually. I'm. I'm going to show you. If you look in the corners, you can see that um, it's it's a blur, and the image is also larger than the one you see here. So, all right, I'm gonna help you now. You're welcome. The adorbs. Actually, keeping really good pace. Maybe I don't have to skip the mines. We'll see. Ow, 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 sorry. Um, this is all. This is a place that always confuses me because you can jump over here, and you cannot run around. And there's not really 
it's enticing that there's a jump that you are uh, it's no reason for it to be there maybe it was supposed to be a scroll at one point no i don't know i don't know why She's such a warrior. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do with one hand. It's cutscene time. Whisper echoed through the A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze then turned her attention upward. I sense you there, too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Veda thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle, Twofold, before the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Rootseer! She's minuscule! Come now. 
The reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Vader replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. It always feels for me like there's a disappointment cutting. I mean, I feel a disappointment cutting from those cutscenes back to back to me. I just want more Quill, you know. And Quill has sh has her sword, and I don't have my controller. There's a, if you jump up here, boop 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 There's a scroll up there. Needs more quill! So it orbs. Okay. Couldn't do it. it. Was so close. Uh, yes. me, me. I want that sound she does as a ringtone notification. Me, me. favorite story how sir argus fought beside the sprite champion to seal this temple from the arcane and secured the survival of their kinds simply standing in their heroic footsteps felt like a great honor look at all them fierce warriors this room is so nice the light is so nice. And my favorite part of this room is that mice have no idea how to build stairs. I mean, who are those stairs supposed to be for? Well, mice apparently. But hey, good thing you can climb, Quero. Don't knock anything out. I really need to put the headphones on so I don't uh, keep singing to myself. <laughs> I mean, every single animation she does, I'm nee! still after all this time. I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm streaming or not, I might just sit alone. Every single time it's just. Nee! Okay, just look. If 
you. <laughs> Wondering why I'm why I'm sitting with the controller over my head. Uh, it's because I don't. I'm. Uh, uh, I'm aiming for a picture, but I don't want the hand, the reader's hand in the picture. Crap! It died. That's bad for symmetry. Okay, what's happening in chat? Um I want to know the stories of all the mice in the statue. So do I, and I hope that we will in uh, the sequel. <laughs> I was about to ask about the controller overhead thing, yeah. Kick a booty. I saw a really interesting um, talk by Richard Laiko about how he... Uh, uh, how he does the animations. <laughs> how the body is rigged and how the tail is moving. So if someone is interested in animation, you should check that out. I think I read Red Wall. I'm bumping into the table. Yeah. Mm, I can't get around it because I forget how to move the headset. I don't think we have an image here anyway. Okay, let's just... Bring it down, Quill, and move on. She has all those, uh, a lot of animations. Um, when she's showing you how you are supposed to solve the puzzles, but I keep forgetting to show them. Lovely light here. <sighs> this place is Fantastic. I know I'm asking a question now with my headset on, but Saraf, didn't you have this game? Did you play it? I've seen no photos. I feel like I should have by now. This is me reading the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, so so nice light in here. Bit of Swedish in her.
step back one trees. And if you ride the elevator all the way up, there's an opening up there. And that leads to a scroll over there. need to fight you. Well, apparently I need to fight you because I missed the opening. <laughs> Space bar clown! If you played the demo, you have seen this room. It's a perfect demo place. So reminder, we're doing this stream for the kids, Quill, for the Children's Hospital in Wisconsin. All donations go there, mostly to families who can't afford care. Do you know how we're supposed to solve this puzzle? Okay, we go there. And then what? I need help. What happens after we go there? Okay, let's let's there. Okay. You you go around. And okay then then that thing. Oh, oh okay, let's try. I think I got it. Oh <laughs> you need to go there first. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, no. How? Oh, sorry. I didn't. I've done this a bazillion times. Uh, but I forgot myself. I really needed your help, Chloe. I needed it. So glad you could. <laughs> Cuteness incoming! High five! You know, I'm not going to give her a high five. Leaving you hanging. <laughs> oh, the adorbs. The adorbs. Surf <sighs> mm. played a few minutes of the game before the headset problems were too much. Okay. I want to fix issues next weekend so I can play. She, I know she wanted that high five so much. I feel felt like a, such a bad person. But give, didn't give her to her. Give it to her, but uh, if it makes you feel any better, she've gotten like two thousand high fives from me already. <laughs> She's just kicking the ground. Didn't get a high five from the reader. I thought we were buddies. We are buddies, Quill. It was all for show. Okay. It's time.
time for simultaneous A bit of a secret trick that you grab the shooting uh, bugs and have them shoot for you. Mm. What time is it where you are? Are you up super late past your bedtime? Oh, wrong layer time. to one of the puzzles that are the most, the longest for me to do in the game and the least fun to do the 200th time and I still, still mess this up. This is what it looks like. And yep, we'll just see me mess it up. So. We stand here and we bring the stairs up. We bring the stairs up. Let's go. Let's go mess it up. Okay, okay, okay. Where to? Um, let's go here. Yep. And make this jump. Um, here's a really nice place for a photo. Boop, 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 boop. It's so nice and cozy in there. I ain't going to take off my helmet to show you. You just have to believe me. And let's let this little guy out here. And I guess we head over here. If we can grab the thing. Okay. Ha! I got it in my first try. You, you know, that animation is so cute and how I missed it. I know you can't get on here. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show you. Let's uh, move you out of the way. Oh, I was just testing SOT, uh, shadow, oh no, I don't know what that is. Cats! Hello cats! Oh, good morning! I am going to show you that this is 
probably the first screenshot I ever tried to take in Moss. And I tried... Oh, I'm going to try again now. I've actually tried to retake it a couple of times, but I can't do it. I tried to take Quill here looking at that chest. But I had not thought of yet that you could take off your headset. So I was crawling on my floor trying to get this. And in, when you, if you try to take the photo in VR, there's no way of knowing where the horizon is. So uh, not only did I have to lie down on my floor, uh, everything came out crooked. So I think it was about here that I realized that I should have taken my headset off. I, I, maybe it took an hour or a day. I probably shot moss for a couple of days before I figured that out. And I felt really, 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 really stupid when I did. But uh, it would have been very fun <laughs> if anyone had watched me. Like, I almost tweeted about it too. Oh, it's so hard, you have to crawl on the floor, blah, 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 blah. So happy I didn't. <laughs> so that's my tip for the rest of you, don't do that. It never, uh, I never got a good shot of this either. Showing you what <laughs> there are butterflies coming out of this chest. Oh, thank you. I'll grab that for you so I don't get stuck in stuff. So now we got a, a particle trail in this thing. Hey! <laughs> so I, I guess you can actually, I don't know how the light is here, but maybe this is a place where you can use the particle tray for something, trail. Oh no, the light isn't very good here. So there are other spots, but it's a tip. You will lose this particle trail, uh, but get it back later on. Your fur baby is coming home today. I'm so happy to hear the cats. I hope she recovers. She looked so 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 sad in those pictures. Cats and boats. Her little friend has been to the hospital this night. Two nights, right? I hope everything turns out for the best. Got this fur pen, it's all I have. Do, 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 do. She's so she looks so much like my uh, the white rat I had a couple of years ago. That helps, Quill. That helps me loving you. Got a trophy here. If we uh, we lit the torches outside, I'm going to crash into my screen, right? No, I didn't. Oops. Trophy thing. the temple. Yeah! It's not- oh, 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 I forgot. We're not out of the temple. We are in big trouble, actually. 
Oh, this game is so damn cute. I love that you can fuss her. You have to do it all the time. Two of the hardest nights she's been in hospital. Hmm. Hmm. Waiting for a fight, Quill. You don't know it yet, but I do. The layout of this temple is very strange. Mao's architects have a strange sense of, uh, yeah, I don't know, architecture. Hello, good morning! Hey, awesome agent! Mm, this is really some Temple of Doom stuff. Um, I'm supposed to... I'm sorry, I couldn't make it earlier. <gasps> oh, congrats on finishing the main history of uh, Odyssey agent. That is important. Okay, how... Um, well, the headset is going into my tummy now. Oh, I have to reset that. <laughs> Crap. I'm resetting the picture now to get a more ergonomic. Mm, and the picture reset itself. Okay, this is a good place for photo, but it's also a place, the, like the only place where the camera really 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 wants to reset because I'm so close to be out of bounds but I was just gonna show you that this is a perfect spot for photo I can't get any lower right now um, because of the black background but also because of the nice fade in the floor tiles uh, I'm not going to stop here for it but it's just a tip for uh, quill photographers Mm. Ah. Oh, the quill graphic! I'm so happy with that. Um, uh, I made it uh, together with a friend. It's a cooperation with a friend of mine. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get through this fight, Quill. I am not 100% sure we can do it. Uh, aimlessly, because I do not reach more around as I'd like. Whoa, wait for me! Oh, 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 crap. Crap. That's unfortunate. Let's do this again then. That's my fault. That's on me. So, how are you, everyone? Yes. We will reset soon. Any minute now. Oh. Yeah, she's stuck. Yeah. 
I could reset it manually, but I prefer... I prefer if you reset it for me, please. It ain't happening, is it? Sense of deja vu, right? Is it deja vu? I'm sorry I'm talking to you like you're a kid. I know you're a teenager. You're a grown girl. And I'm sorry for messing up. This nice animation again. Thank you. I've made it in time this time. Oh, what? Wait, I'm on the wrong side. Crap. Why did it do that? It almost. It's always this side. This is why we have ample extra time. One more time, another time, another beat. Oh, let's make this the right way. That's not how the melody goes. Yeah, I know you think you're dumb. Supposed to be one more. No, yeah. Oh, so that one only spawns after you kill the first one. It's good to know. So one hit more and I'm dead, but I can't see where there's so many beetles around me.
My mom bought more, and there's no way she's gonna pop this in. Yeah, good job! You are very brave. to jump onto this raft we are entering a cutscene that I'm going to prepare and then I'm going to take a break hmm like I think a five minute break is enough actually Nine thirty. are we halfway Make that a 10 minute break so I can get some snacks. All right? So. Quill felt a swell of go. pride as she approached the Cavern River. Its guiding banks once led her people to safety after the Cinder Night. Now, all these years later. Quill's muscles ached and her eyes grew heavy. She decided it best to set up camp and rest before journeying on to the castle. Hey, kid. Good. You're alive. The starving spoke as it circled the campfire. Will gasped in shock as the starving unveiled monstrous wings and curled horns. It descended, talons gleaming. Oh, dear. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not scared, Quill replied. I just didn't know starthings were feathered. This starving thing's gotta go, kid. The name's Adurin. No, we aren't feathered. Only me. I'm working on it. Let's just say choosing the wrong friends comes with the price. But you seem like a good friend to have. Thanks, I think. Quill readied her meal and paused to take in the strange winged creature who now called her friend. As a field of stars bloomed over the sky, their campfire conversations deepened. He's all I have. If I lose him, I don't know what I'll do, confided Quill. Adurin looked down at his wings. If I help you find him, can you help me? <sighs> if we can, we will, Starthing. I mean, Adurin. Although Quill was far from the safety and comfort of her nook in the cottage, her exhaustion led her into a deep sleep. Hey, Ghostface. A lot of folks have been waiting for a reader like you to return. I know I have. I'm going to scout the castle up ahead. Keep her safe, okay? For both our sakes. Let's see. Hey, hello, Bad Game Elite. Go to sleep. Stopping the stream and walking the house. Okay. Walking mm -hmm. Perfect timing, Tonti. Yep. I know. I uh, have some coffee. Okay. Um, so, we have arrived at a spot where I will talk composition. So, this is actually going to be educational. And I would love to 
I know that you're not seeing the game right now, uh, but I would love to set this up. And I haven't really gotten there yet. Because I did the coffee instead. So, okay, this will do better than nothing. I'm going to hold the headset mostly anyway. So here we are. Ah, composition time. This is what this scene looks like. And it's perfect for talking about landscape photography. And there will be a fair bit of shaking. Um, sorry about that. It's partly because I couldn't find a good... Let's try again. Good angle. No, still not getting it. Give up, Tonti. Okay. Yeah, this is an amazing shot, and it's uh, all thanks to PolyArc's careful uh, planning. So, basics of uh, composition. The first, I know that there are like a gazillion um, gametographers in stream right now that know exactly what I'm talking about. But there are also lurkers that, uh, and uh, this will be archived. So let's go with the basics. The most common rule, shake it, shake it, shake, when you're talking about photography is the rule of thirds. And this is what that looks like. So, uh, the rule of thirds mean that you put um, interesting stuff along the lines uh, and the most interest interesting stuff you put in the intersections of the lines. So we can see here, here we have quill in an intersection and you also put two thirds of the land or the sky uh, in uh, in two thirds of the screen. <laughs> so the most common thing is that you put uh, one third of the land in the bottom of the screen like this. But you can also, in case needed, uh, do it like this. But here we have this. That's the rule of thirds. Um, we also have the golden triangles Boop. which says the same thing you should follow the lines of the triangles and put the most interesting thing in the intersections so I'm actually not I'm watching my TV now so maybe here somewhere Okay, but you can see in this shot that uh, as Pol uh, how Polyarch designed it, that the angel's arm and the angel's wing is following these... Uh, um, <laughs> these lines. And we also have the golden mean, which you might have seen, it's this Fibon Fibonacci sequence. It's what it's built of and it uh, says that your eye will follow the spiral down to the the point where quill is now so we can see that in this scene uh, i'm also going to mention leading lines which means i'm sorry for all the shake which means that lines in the image should point towards the point of interest. So if we look in this image, we have uh, the line from the wing pointing to quill, we have the arm pointing to quill, we have the nose on the nose guard on the helmet pointing to quill, uh, the sword on the right side is pointing inwards in the picture, and also in the background you have the castle cliff uh, pointing down to Quill. So, I mean, Polyarch really did everything in this shot. It's really, 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 really perfect. Added to that, we have the symbolism that 
you can see that Quill is, uh, I mean, she's a bit abandoned, but she still has this guarding angel over her. We see with, I mean, the fire has gone out, it's uh, foggy and grey, so it's really, really nice feeling here. So, once again, sorry for the shake, it's because I couldn't set it up properly. Just look at her. Mm, I can't get around right now, this is a computer screen anyway. So that's for the for the composition. You can wake up, Quill. scared you again. Oh, I almost scared you right into the fire. <laughs> oh. Hello. Look at her little footprints in the sand. Um, okay, what time is it? It's quarter to ten. I have one hour and fifteen minutes. I would also play a game that is just interacting with Quill. Uh, I'll bring my camera back. Oop, hello. Mm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking how much time I need because uh, I have cut out the part now where we're going into the mines. And I'm thinking if we... No, I should probably keep that part cut out. And if I get a lot of time over, um, we'll head back somewhere. We can do the mines in the end if if we have time. So just going to the entrance to now, found. and then I'll jump Coming to cutscene. On a distant bluff was the castle. Stark reminder of and go into most. some portraits basics and readied herself for the journey ahead <laughs> oh outside of play area thing sorry where am I? Why am I? Okay. Where am I? Why am I? This is right? Oh, here we go. Okay, heading into the mines, skipping it, giving you a cutscene. Um, it's a short one this time, and also you've already seen it. See you in a couple of seconds. She'd seen this view before, in a drawing from her uncle's library. Being here made her heart flutter, and then sink. If the story of her family had been different, this would have been her home. I forgot that the thing I was supposed to do during that break was to load the new game, so that's happening right now. And loaded! Whip whoop 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 How come God hasn't had mod powers right yet. Um, 
Let's play. Let's not play. One thing more to fix. <laughs> Okay. This game is really st getting steadily creepier. Um, so there's... Uh, we've, we come from uh, somewhere. And there's also a pot in here that we skipped. If I had a, have a lot of time. We can head in there and have a look. But we're going to the church. You see that thing up there? Uh, we have pause, uh, passed uh, another one like it, a smaller one. No, two smaller ones on the way here. So we had have dodged two of those much, much, much smaller versions. Now look at the light in this place. This is my favorite place in the game because of the light. Oh my, oh my. And we have another moss photo kit. If we break these uh, barrels, there will be residue on the ground. And if we leave this screen, that residue will be gone. So if you want a clear shot, hit the barrels, then move out. I please don't hit my screen. Hey, please, can you? Oh, all right. <laughs> my phone was not on. Do not disturb. later so clear that out So why is my phone calling me? Nothing important. Um. <laughs> okay, another... Well, it's not Easter egg, but it, it's an attention to detail in this uh, game that um, makes me so happy. If, if you look at these... Um, mosaic windows just look at this you can notice that they have made them see through so you can see what's going on outside you can see the city outside and it's such such a small detail but wow it really adds to the feeling they didn't have to do that they could have made that static also. It's a really, really cute mouse. A mm. fryer hamster. It looks like a rat. I think they are all mice. Okay. 
you sir have to move out of, out of the way. I'm going to take some portraits here. Once again, I know you, there are game photographers in stream that know all this stuff. But I'm going to take some portrait basics anyway. Because this is a good spot. And I have made preparations for it. So, we need to get closer for this. Even closer, please. My cord isn't... Sometimes when I do this, I actually have to step behind my sofa. Mm. It's not unusual. That's a really weird position. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing a perfect perfect position. Maybe it's even better if it's not perfect. And a sip of coffee. And we're off to the... I don't know what. The basic portraits races, perhaps. Let's see. There we go. And since it's portrait... What we uh, we usually do in every game, and e even in VR, is that we tilt the image uh, vertically so we don't lose quality. But I ain't gonna do that now because that will be uh, hard to watch. Instead, I prepared something that is somewhere. Here we go. And this will be hard because I will have to watch on the screen with delay. Portrait basics, once again, rule of thirds. Shake it to shake it to shake it to shake. Uh, most common rule, there are a lot of rules, but the most common one is that you place the focus eye. I do not like the position she is standing in, and I'm going to change it. The eye you want to focus on, you put it in the center. Oh, this is really hard to watch. And one third down, and we have to get closer. Mm, I think this is about it. Really hard for me to see. That's a basic rule. Okay. I'm going to change her. And chat, you all can always uh, correct me if I'm wrong. What was I supposed to do? I was supposed to do something. What was it? I was supposed to move her. I really, really, really don't like where she's standing. Hello! Oh! <laughs> I didn't get it! Silly, silly, silly me. Here we go. That's better. Um, okay. So, so we have that. Oh, it's still not good! I can't stand it. I'm sorry, I can't stand it. It's not supposed to be perfect, but I really can't stand it when it's too bad. We have time, Quill, we have time. Okay, we have the rule of thirds again. We also, in portraits, more importantly, we have the... Okay, let's put her in the center. We have the leading lines thing. Uh, and in this portrait, you have the leading line from the pillar behind her, from the... A the thing is. You see a lot of things is pointing at her. But we also don't want to poke her eye out. Like if we stand here, we have the leading lines are poking in her eye. We don't want that. So skip it. Also, if I took this portrait, I will edit out the sword in the background. That's annoying me. And uh, another thing I like to pay attention to is and that's not really possible in this position so if you thank you Kuel that's actually precisely what I want you to do um shake 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 it's that no it's not what I want you to do but it's the negative spaces so I want her limbs to be separated from each, each other. So if you see her green arm, 
I like that there's a negative space there that you can see that it's separated but I don't like that there's a tail uh, disrupting it and I don't like the black background so those are things to pay attention to and also to not make the background too busy and also to get very close to your subject is a good thing like if we st stay here oh I'm my hands are straight out that's why it's shaking uh, here we have some leading lines we have a nice window in the background but the tail isn't a uh, super good place we have a clipping on here ear. so anyway some ported basics you could use all the there's also um, do I have the no I don't have the golden rule but you can also put her eye in the rule of thirds um, no, I'm not hitting it perfectly. Uh, or follow the golden rule. Or so lots of possibilities. And you can see why I love that place. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Quill is super, super, super cute. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that quill. Okay. We have a lot of time right now. I just got an idea. Can we? Oh, God. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh. You know, I said earlier that I want shots with the reader's hand in. So, can can I have that here? And oh no, it's it's too hard. I want. Can you have the animation? The animation quill. Another animation? I want you to say hi. If you say hi... Can you be more adorable? I would like her to... Yep, there we go. And... Now I have those things in. Okay. It's not what I wanted. The place isn't good and good enough. But yeah, gonna do that sometimes. I know there's too much awe. Quill is doing it for the children in Wisconsin. Thank you so much, Quill. You're a trooper. <laughs> I know. As I mentioned, the the video where Richard Lyko talks about uh, how uh, he animated Quill, it's really uh, interesting that he didn't have to animate the ears um, separately. They are rigged on... oh, never mind, I will just mess it up. I ain't gonna tell how they are done, but I know that they're not separately pulled in in the air wings. They just flop around naturally. Hmm. <laughs> I should have played the mines. We have half an hour, Quill. Do you wanna do the mines? Do you wanna do the mines? I think she wants to do the mines, don't you? Yeah, she wants to do the mines. <laughs> I need coffee. That's what's happening right now. I wonder if I miscalculated because 
This game really is two hours and fifty minutes. Oh yeah, no, I didn't miscalculate. The mines are very long. That's what's happening. Oh, I always forget. So we're just going. Uh, we're not going the entire way in here. show you the merrier. So we're jumping back in time now, not that it matters too much. Thing with the, yeah, I think you're supposed to blow up the beetles with, with the blow away up things. Also, here we have some healing stuffs for the dust trophy. And there's a scroll down there that you get to by jumping off the elevator. Aren't you the key? I mean, look at this. Can I get closer? Look at this. No. Do the animation, Quill. Do it. Okay, let's. Here. She's like, no, you stupid idiot. I can't go up there. She's too cute. I love that she's a mouse and doesn't get fall damage. Mice doesn't get fall damage. Neither they that words are out for today. I did have words for a very long time. I'm satisf satisfied. need to know oh we made the donation go that was uh, must have been during uh, during the night and I need to recenter this or I will knock out my screen I am so confused right now Once again, 150 hours I've done this before. <sighs> I keep forgetting. Dee -dee -dee -dee. 
This is where I cut out the mines. There are really long puzzles in here. Also good. Long. And a new one, please. Thank you. Do you have an animation for us? Or is it too late for that? Might be too late. Hi. Yeah, why is... why is she waiting? Oh, stupid, stupid reader. Can you help me out? Or do you think that I know this by now? You probably think I know this by now, right? Oh yeah, she's just... Why aren't you doing the thing? Just notice how her uh, balance is moved when you when she swishing. didn't give her a high five before so this is the time quill ain't leaving you hanging twice I can't take it I can't take it So you've seen this cutscene before. You see it again. Um. Okay. She'd seen this view before in a drawing from her uncle's library. Quill would never call Being someone stupid. That's flutter, right. She's instinct. too pure of heart. The story of her Sorry, I could been actually show you. This would have been She'd sign it, maybe. <laughs> uh, we still have some time. This is... Um, they made a... Oh, recenter. They made a really good job of giving her, what's the word, autonomy? Is that how you pronounce it? That uh, she's a real, she's a person of her own. It's not me controlling her. And this is one of the places where it shows. Yeah, it's equal. That, like, if you if you play and you let her, if you let her be herself, if you're not controlling her all the time, she will uh, show you things. Like here. You can see that she's really, hmm, there's something interesting going on over here. So just let her do what she wants. <laughs> yeah. So tiny things like that uh, all over the game. If you don't push her and you listen to her, she will show you things. So these are the sentinels I said that we were um, passing. I can't believe this stream is almost over.
the most heartbreaking scene in the game for me and I can never play here without getting reminded. So it's story time. This is the story I wouldn't have told unless we had... Uh, had uh, gone back here. So when I was doing the platinum trophy here, uh, you have to go through the entire game without dying. And as you know, it's a three hour game and to get here we are on closing in on two hours. So it takes two hours to get here. And this thing you're moving, uh, I need to pull a lever to fully show it. But it has a rotating, rotating bottom and also when I pull this lever you will uh, be able to lower and uh, raise the, the thingies. It will be able to do it right now, we got a handle. Here. And the first time you do is you do this. For me, it was hard to realize that to move the bottom, you grab down here, and to move this one, you grab up here. And now that I know it, it's uh, obvious that I didn't then. So this place was so frustrating for me. And what I did and I will always regret is that I went out on Twitter and said oh my god I love this game so much but this place is so annoying it's bad user design and yada 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 and what happened the developer who made this scene came in answered and said I'm sorry whoop and I sorry Quill that I dropped it and oh my god, I felt so bad. Because you know, they had just launched it, this game, it was in the early days. Like, say, third day, <laughs> third day after the game's release. I can tell that they were, they were checking what people were writing on Twitter and feeding off the happy comments. And I'm sure that like every comment of this game was happy and then they came up on this comment that said oh this place is rubbish and I know that they could have gotten 3,000 happy comments but that one is the one that sticks and that developer maybe forever forever <laughs> will remember that one player hated this place and also I didn't hate it it was just that I was so fr frustrated when I was trying to get my platinum so I learned something. After that day, I never complain on these games on Twitter. It really hurts me inside every time I'm there that I did that. So, don't hurt people. That's the lesson. And taking off my headset again to check how we are for time. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, the puzzles, puzzles in this game are excellent. <sighs> oh, yeah, and the developers are so engaged on social media and they're so cute and they're so nice. I really love them. Oh, what? They retweeted something? What? What, what do you mean 15 minutes? I'm supposed to quit at uh, 11. That's 45 minutes, Godric Snow. And it's time to... I'm in great time. <sighs> oh, thank you, Seraph. I almost got a heart attack. <laughs> I was like... <gasps> okay. Um, yeah, heading into endgame then. Hey, time zones doesn't account for the half an hour, Godric's now. But yes, thank you for the heart attack. I needed that adrenaline rush. Let's fight. Where, where do we fight? Do we fight here? Headphones! 
could have put more on the floor. All places. Going in for the kids, Quill. This is actually a really, really, really tough battle. Nothing in the way. What? Did I miss something? Oh, I missed something. I always do. to just prepare something <clears throat> 20 sounds yeah that compilation will be really really weird cats I'm just grab grabbing that because I love the sound Great audio design. We're trapped! cried Quill. Can you open these doors too? Oh no, these? These are powerful arcane hexes. I can try. The voice acting! There's here. Okay, maybe not. The amount of times I've died here before I oh. I need you. Uh, because when I uh, Play this part the first times. I didn't uh, think of that you can uh, grab grab some of the baddies to get them out of combat. Oops, miss. have to do the full battle again. I'm just gonna remind you that the platinum trophy requires you to play two and a half hours and get here and don't die. 
And this isn't even the hardest part in the game. That's yet to come. It's a really, really uh, rough trophy. Made a terrible mistake. What is this place? What's that smell? Durin? What's that smell? Durin? Oh. We are in the place where um, I need the headset again, uh, where you're seeing a lot of my photos. And the only reason I took a lot of photos here is that the Gametography 30 challenge had the challenge that you need silhouettes. And that had me think that this is the only place in the game where you can get a silhouette. So like, where's my... I think... Here's one of my silhouette shots. I'm not taking off my headset and, and rotating, but with the black background and... Pshht, you have the... I had it like the be right back image in this screen. That's from here. Sorry! I'm going to stop that. We're heading into a cutscene and I will have a short break. So... Cutscene starting now, I hope! Save for a blazing shadow poised to strike. Quill's insights felt like quicksand sinking in terror at the sight. The shape plunged, metal crashed, and a Durin's light went out. Quill's beating heart drew Sarfog's attention. It was a monster of such harrowing enormity that survival seemed impossible. Then, the reader illuminated a break in the stone. Quill dove, the opening just big enough, and narrowly escaped the snap of Sarfog's fiery jaw. Instant fuel Quill's desperate flee. 
Littered limbs of those before her served as haunting reminders that this was where so many before her met their end. Her adrenaline waned, trembling and anchored by a heavy heart. She slowed, stumbled, and crumpled to the cold ground. Quill had never felt more small and helpless. It would take an army to defeat Sarfog. And she felt a gentle touch of warmth and mustered the strength to look up. The reader was still there, expressionless as always, but unwavering in their loyalty. Quill felt the depth of their connection, the strength that came with being twofold. They've come so far, together. My friend, I need your help. If we don't face Sarfog now, my uncle will die. And that monster won't stop until you and I are torn apart. Will you stay with me and try? More coffee and waffles for me, I think. You are all making me hungry. You are up way past your bedtime, Sarah, aren't you? Easter egg. Or maybe not Easter egg, but heartbreaking thing. That if you try to pet Quill here, and I can't do it because I have a table there. Uh, there. She's like, no, I'm not in the mood. Heartbreaking. You're on European time this weekend. Oh. I'm thinking because there ha there's half an hour left of the stream. Uh, really not half an hour left of this. Uh, game and you don't want to hear me talk for 20 minutes though I do have a little talk planned in the end but we'll, maybe we'll stop for some photos on the way oh sorry cam this I tell you all so you hear it now this is the hardest jump in the game this jump is nigh on impossible <gasps> First try! Oh, I... I, it's, I don't know, it's something with it. That, where's, where's the play area? Makes it almost impossible. Luckily you don't die if you miss it. I'm just gonna grab you. We don't need you. Which part are we don't need you? Do not understand. Have a look around. What? Show you where we are. Mm, big castle. Can't really see it. Pretty castle with lots of fire. Actually, I think we uh, got to do a photo. Right. 
been a while since, since we tried photo. Okay. She must be so tired, yeah. Sarah really must be tired. Mm -mm -mm. So this is a photo that I've tried to take a bazillion times. Uh, how am I? The camera is supposed to be here. But I never can do it. And it's one of the first photos I took uh, that I was very proud of. And now I want to retake it. Uh, with the things I've learned since, like with all the, you know, with the rule of thirds and the triangles and the leading lines and, but it's so dark, so it's really hard. I mean, maybe a, maybe a portrait, but I can't get it. I don't know how. We've escalated from Temple of Doom to God of War. We have, look at this snake. You know, Morla Gorondona, I love her as uh, the narrator of this story. And my favorite part in the entire game is when she goes, Glass! Really, really put, puts the personality into Sarfog. No, I can't get anything here. Not what the, like I want to. Hmm. Such commitment to that. Okay, I just want to remind everyone again that for the platinum trophy, you can't die. Get a scroll. I'm doing that. Get out of the way. You don't have time to the idle quill. Really much hurry right now. animation stream I'm dragging this out now <laughs> um, yeah there's a shot here everywhere but as you say where uh, that they the first way they animated the snake apparently was too snake like so it was too uh, disgusting <laughs> to uh, to watch so they had to remake it in another fashion so it would fit the game so it wouldn't cre creep everyone out fun story I just realized that I haven't died in this playthrough, but also it's not on the same uh, save, so that's sad. 
the serpent spit fireballs, that seems excessive. It's fantasy surf. Mm -mm -mm. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Not what I meant. I thought it was going to spit a fireball. I had forgotten. Oh, she had her ears back. I missed it. The music is very merry considering the circumstances. It is. I texted uh, Bad Gamer uh, 10 minutes ago. Uh, that's not where I want it. I want it here. Would be nice if you were in an animation call. I don't think there is a motive here to be frank, but I'm also dragging out. Nope, 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 nope. Sparforg. Sorry, Quill, but we've done this a lot, haven't we? <laughs> that was just bad form. <laughs> well, 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 well play, Quill. Once again, we're at the passage my mother would tell you with. Then she'd never get to the passage. So, uh, The drama would be more, uh, it would be more action packed if I wasn't staying for photos every five seconds. I'm, uh, I'm playing for time. The thing is, the door here, when we enter there, the game is over. So, uh, Yeah, uh, that guy is super rude. Hmm. And this is the point where that I meant when I said you should focus on something that's not changing. Whoop! <laughs> Didn't mean to.
<laughs> Quill is like, I'm walking here, says Chet. This is one of those that I feel like I probably can't do anything with it. But if I could, maybe we'd get something epic. But it's outside the... I think the camera will struggle here. Like maybe. Maybe. The Tetra Spera is still going on, yes. If, if we could blur out some background or... This is stretching it. I did a pause, yes, I know. I'm also stretching my arms to the max, so I know I'm out of the picture. I could probably recenter this in a better. Like as as it is, this isn't super great, but maybe I can do something in post production. Who knows? Who knows? Um, it's an animation I never caught to go actually. From that angle it looks like she's shooting a fireball herself. Mm, that's nice. Oh, my arms are getting so tired. It's the shelf in the background that I'm not happy with. If you look here, though, I'm not saying that this is a good picture, but you have a nice uh, negative space between the ear and the explosion. Just saying. Meaning the negative space is really for... Ooh. It's following her. <laughs> I'm getting so tired! <laughs> this is... Oh god, it's silly. So tired, it's silly. Oh... And I'm not really seeing what's going on. Because of the... Uh, You are witnessing what it's really like. I'm trying to maneuver this thing vertically and all right. You know, let's go. I'm almost done. Where are you? Oh, it's still. <laughs> I thought we were beginning, beginning another end. Stop it! So... Hey... Camera please... Um, okay, let's see. I might be going over time a bit because of that last shot, I couldn't leave it. But I was going to say this stream is ending now. We are heading into the end scene. I was just going to say some parting words. Uh, and they are on game photography. So if you are one of the lurkers uh, that are interested in beginning the game photography thing and haven't done it before, and you're watching all these game photographers on Twitter uh, posting the amazing stuffs, you have to know that all of them began somewhere. So, um, the first shots weren't great, maybe they began with real photographer or some other art, but everyone began somewhere before they reached what they, where they were doing, <laughs> where they were going, where they are now. 
And, and I'm going to show you where I begin in Moss. And I'm going to talk a bit of where, uh, where it ended up and why. So this is the first picture I took in Moss that I was really, really happy with. No, it's not. We're not seeing it. Here it is. This is the first picture I took in Moss that I'm really happy with. Uh, and it's a cool picture. You have the action. It's like Mission Impossible. She's running from the fire. Uh, and this is the second picture and we're talking about the difference. So what's happened here is that I photographed Moss for 120 hours. That's the difference between these two pictures. And in composition, the difference is that in the section, second picture we have better lightning, we are closer to the objective, and we are following the rule of thirds, the golden rule, we have the triangles, uh, which is actually an accident, <laughs> but it's there. And I also added some blur in the background, otherwise it's unedited. But it's just, sh I'm just showing that the second picture didn't happen overnight. It was a lot of uh, practice. And uh, the other example, just stay and look at this first picture for a bit. Everyone begins somewhere. This is in March this year. So a lot of happened this year. Here's another one of the earlier pictures I took. This is the view you have when you get into this place. Nice picture. Went back, took it again, following the rules. So this is the second try. Uh, the difference here is that if you look in the first picture, there's a lot of shadows that are disturbing the picture you have on the on the stone and on the feet um, of the skeleton and if you look in the second picture the shadows are rather complementing the the picture and you have the empty spaces that I talked about before between the legs and the tail and the sword so you can see what's going on you have the diagonal or uh, the triangles with the star thing and uh, the sword is pointing to the thing and uh, we have the rule of thirds so uh, both pictures are good but i'm explaining what the difference is and how you can take a nice um, environment and a nice picture to enhance it and the last one is from a church. I wanted to take this picture so much uh, and I went in here and you collide in walls so this is the only angle um, from from this angle it's the only place you can really take this picture uh, and I wasn't really happy with it but went back and got this instead. So the difference here is well the composition rules again but the real difference is that in the second picture we tell a story so in the second picture we put Quill in we wonder why she's there I also heard her a little bit so the backpack is red so it's not a blue color taken away from the photo um, so that's another thing you can bring into bring into it and it's almost time to go so, away with thee, and back with me. Where are, where am I? Here I am. Woohoo! This is the last you will see of me. It is time to watch the end scene, and then we go over over to Bad Gamer Elite. And the ending is—you will love it. It's great. Uh, once again, shout out to Richard Lico for the animations. I made a movie of this and uh, right now so we are going to see it now and I've tried to get into the face of the animations so you can really see them. And thank you so much to everyone who donated 
uh, during this stream. It was uh, Rimmerman Reboot. And once again, thank you to Polyark for your donations. And thank you everyone who donated before that. When I say this stream, I mean my part of the stream. Please, please, everyone, stay for Bad Gamer Elite. Uh, I don't remember which game he is playing after this, but it ought to be good. Boop, 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 boop. Bye bye, everyone. Enjoy the ending. searched the silent halls. Uncle? Uncle! She called, but only her echoes responded. Sarfog finds you. Uncle, Sarfog is dead. His voice trembled as he spoke. The glass, the reader, you've bonded. I wanted to keep you safe from all this. It is not a burden you can bear alone. I'm not alone. Old and strong, he resigned. We're safe now, she assured him. Let's go home. No, Quill. You've never been in more danger. His voice faltered. The arcane do not end with Sarfog. The king's glass, hidden here in the castle. You must reclaim it. Where? We're ready. Promising beginning indeed. For so long, another has toiled to write an end for us all. But your bond with Quill grows strong. Your fates, yet still unwritten, are now entwined. And that gives us hope. Yes, your journey together is far from over. Rest now, dear reader. We begin again soon. The dark wood falls before me With broken bow and blackened leaf I stand where trees meet with the sky 
and in the stillness find you by. When all the paths are overgrown and evening falls with crimson glow, into the forest I will fly and in its shadow fire.